With erectile dysfunction, again, it can there can be a couple of causes of erectile dysfunction. It can be a di- chronic disease process, so your testosterone can be low. You can have some coronary artery disease or vascular disease from calcium buildup or calcification or high glucose. You can have issues with the blood vessel itself from high cholesterol, from high blood pressure, things like that. It can also be psychologic though. So I do tell people this, sometimes when men have issues, with erectile dysfunction, that will cause them to have additional issues in the future just because it's a psychological thing. So if they're in a situation and they develop erectile dysfunction and then they get in that same situation or maybe with that same person again in the future, they can psychologically have issues where maybe there's not a disease process, it is just psychological. And so I I have people ask me about that as well. Could it just all be in my head? Well, it could. You wanna make sure it's not a disease process, but it could all be in your head. One of the ways that you can tell that though, that I will explain to patients is if you wake up in the morning with erections most days, then you probably don't have a disease process. It's probably psychological if you're developing issues. But if you start to get to the point where you don't wake up with morning erections, then you do need to look into, do I have a disease process here? Is there something going on? And you need to get with your doctor and have some testing and go from there.